James Sharp from Artful Kids. And we're going to work on a project using color today. And we've been talking about lots of different kinds of colors in art class. And today we're going to learn about warm and cool colors, if you don't already. Warm and cool colors. So these are the warm colors, colors that make us think of things that are warm, like the sun and fire and lava, things that are warm. And cool colors here are the things that make us feel things that make us think of cool things like water or grass um, things like that that make us think of things that are cool so this painting is going to use the warm and the cool colors so first thing we need to do is get our paper ready um, so we're going to take this piece of paper and we're going to fold it in half and you kind of Put your finger here and join it up together as much as you can. All right, so we're folding that in half. Then we're gonna fold that paper in half one more time. There we go. All right, um, now we're going to kind of fold it at a diagonal. So the easiest part is thing to do is to put your thumb kind of up here in the corner and just fold it at a diagonal so that there's kind of a point right now, right there. Now do the best you can with this. If this is a little hard, um, just fold it any kind of way and it'll still come out looking really nice. All right, but this is the idea here. Um, so once you have a nice diagonal fold like that, then you're gonna fold it one more time that way over. And then you have this little flap left over. We're just gonna fold that down. So you kind of have a shape like that, kind of like a little cone. All right, and then we're gonna open that up and see what we have. And we're gonna kind of have a design here looking like beams coming out or something like that. Now again, if you didn't get the folds looking just right, that's okay. You're still gonna get an interesting kind of shape in here. Doesn't really matter. All right, now we're gonna go in with the paint. So one side is going to be the warm colors, one side is going to be the cool colors. And it doesn't matter um, where you put your colors, but let's just try for each um, section in here. You can see after you fold it, you have nice little areas. Um, of folded bits and in each bit we're going to put a different color and let's try not to get two of the same colors together so this one will be one color this one will be a different shade of um, the warm or cool color all right so we're just gonna work on that so I'm gonna start I'm gonna start with my cool colors All right, I've just repositioned my paper a little bit. Just wanted to get some paper underneath this so I don't paint on my little table here. All right, now I've got one, the same shade there and there. I don't want them next to each other. So I'm gonna go in with a different color. Now, one thing that's important to mention that I probably didn't mention before, when you're washing out your brush, you kind of go swish and dip, swish and dip to get the water, um, to get your brush clean, all right? Let's add some green. There is my cool color side. Now I'm gonna work on my warm color side. Make sure your brush is nice and clean since we're getting going in with a new lighter colors now.
All right, and there we go. I um, skipped a little space right there, so I'm gonna do that last one. Now, um, oops, I used that same color already. Oh, no, I didn't. Um, so, as we're finishing up, I want you to try to keep in mind, try to fill in all the white spaces. So whenever you have white spaces, the goal is to try to fill in all the white spaces. So you have, um, mainly just colors. All right, and the only other thing that I wanna say while we're working on this is um, with these, now with our, we just need a little bit, just a few swipes, two or three, four maybe, to get enough good paint. We don't wanna go in and just go round and round and round over and over because that digs lots of, um, digs a big hole in the paint and only a few swipes is enough. You saw how I did that there. Um, we don't go in and um, go round and round and round for a very long time. A little paint goes a long way with this, all right? All right, so there we go. Um, there's my warm and cool color painting. I hope you have fun, enjoy.